Hey y'all, it's Science Meets Psychology here today, and I'll be showing you seven habits that break the cycle of depression. First of all, like, let's get right into the motherfucking video, y'all. All right, exercise. I know people be like, oh my god, do exercise, do yoga. Like, okay, sometimes it might not help, but a thing is, a good thing to do is exercise because it, like, it scientifically is proven that exercise can help relieve depression even if you don't feel it right away over a period of time it can relieve it because um it produces dopamine um your brain releases dopamine and dopamine is a chemical that makes you happier and gives you pleasure and without dopamine you you don't really experience pleasure and that is related to the pleasure symptom of depression um next is socialization so when you're depressed you tend to isolate yourself this only makes you more depressed so if you go and schedule time and meetings with friends then you would be socializing and a great thing to do is like talk about your problems um like don't talk about it like 24 7 just release it let it all out rant about it um if your friends don't let you rant then they're not friends next one is spending time outside so like you can go for a walk you can ride a bike um anything that gets you outdoors because sunlight also produces vitamin d and vitamin d also helps with depression because many people with depression have a lack of vitamin d because they're always inside so when you're outside vitamin d also maybe helps you feel better um and time outside is like you don't have to do heavy exercise you can just take a walk and that would still help next one is art so more more specifically expressing your feelings through art it's like just basically drawing out how you feel and just creating something making beauty out of your pain and it doesn't have to be drawing it doesn't have to be painting it could be any form of art it could be dance it could be singing it just has to be like an expression of your of yourself or something to pass the time or distract yourself from all the pain next journaling now this can go both ways this can go bad or good so it could be good if you journal and then keep track of how you feel like keeping a journal if you're taking medicine or therapy and you can like keep track of it and how you feel but there's also a harmful journaling which is not journaling like journaling how you feel is good and what happened that day and how it made you feel but writing things like oh my god I hate myself I'm worthless like I'm a piece of trash writing that over and over again can eventually make you feel like shit so I, I used to do that um, and then I tried to get into more of journaling like a diary like what happened and how it made me feel instead of just saying trash about myself and how I feel about myself it was more like how my day went so be careful how you journal because it can take a turn for the worse um next is eating healthy now I get this a lot and it's kind of annoying but I had to put it on the list because eating healthy um can reduce your risk of um one extreme body fat which can lower your self-esteem and more so you if you have too much sugar you can get like a sugar crush so you might feel super happy and then you feel like awful then it can get you you can fun fact you can get addicted to sugar so yeah so you just gotta watch what you eat and you gotta eat healthy so that you would have better self-esteem and that you would have a healthier basically a healthier body because when you're depressed you tend to lean more towards sugar and junk food well you just got to remember to eat healthy because sometimes eating too much junk food can make you more depressed last one is self-care take your ass to the salon take your ass to the spa do some face masks take some showers oh that, my phone fell and scared me um and you just gotta just gotta work toward improving yourself even if you don't feel like you deserve it even if you feel like you're worthless and shit even if you don't deserve it, or even if you feel like you don't deserve it, then you still gotta take care of yourself. Like, it's easier said than done. Like, I have problems with hygiene, too. But, um, I s just get your nails done, you know, pamper yourself a little, buy some more clothes, like, 
but don't make sure shopping doesn't turn into addiction because I have a shopping addiction <laughs> uh, but you know just stay at a safe level and take care of yourself and do things to make yourself feel better like face masks or maybe meditate but meditating does not work for everybody I hate meditation I hate yoga it only makes me feel worse because it only clears up my mind and opens up the way for bad thoughts to come in some people they find it good some people it's not and eight mindfulness I know they said I know this video said it was seven, but it's actually eight. So mindfulness. Mindfulness is something that can help some people and not help other people, but it never really hurts anyone. Mindfulness is knowing how you feel and knowing like staying in the situation and not letting your mind wander around other stuff. It's just staying at the situation and knowing what's going on and being aware of things. That way it's like the first step in solving the problem. You gotta be aware of the problem. So yeah, and those are eight steps, or not steps, but eight habits, I mean, oh my god, eight things that can break the cycle of depression.